Hey guys, Jamstrap here, and welcome back to another Mortal Realms unboxing slash kind of review thing. Now it seems that Mortal Realms is back to usual scheduling. Last time I only had two issues, this time I've got an all four, so I've got 19 to 22 here, plus a, a whole load of extra gifts. So yeah, normally I break it down with two issues per episode, but I thought I'll just get it all done in one video, see how that works out for you guys. So yeah, let's move everything out the way so we can check what's going on here. All right, so first up, the gifts. One of the things we got was another like little folder binder kind of thing. We've already had one in the issue. Uh, one thing I'm slightly disappointed by is, I mean, first of all, I think you get charged extra for these binders now. The first one was free. And I don't really know what I need another binder for. I mean, you can, I think you can cancel it if you want to, but the thing I'm actually disappointed by is it's not a different artwork. It's exactly the same as the first one, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah. Oh, just bumped the camera. Yeah, I'm a bit disappointed that I think it's supposed to be getting like three or four of these binders throughout the series. And yeah, if they're all going to be the same artwork, this is a bit lame. I mean, it's a binder at the end of the day, but still would have been nice to have something a bit more fancy for each one. Next up, we got ourselves a Citadel like water paint cup thingy. Yeah, water pot. Um, Yeah, I mean, to be honest, it'll save me from making my mugs dirty, you know, like encrusted in paint and stuff so yeah i got an uh got an official water pot now so that's always nice so yeah that was free in the this delivery and the last kind of gift thing they give you is the palette pad now i've never used one of these in my life it's kind of like a well like a palette but you just make a little pad crunch when you're done with it you throw it away um yeah i mean i've recently got a wet palette so i don't know if i'll be getting much use out of this I'll see what I can do with it. If you've got any suggestions on how this stuff can be worked or used, I'd be quite interested because I doubt you can use it in a wet palette from what I can tell. So yeah, um, comment below what you guys think of that, what I should do with it. And yeah, cup is pretty cool. Alrighty, on to issue 19. And this is, seems like it might actually be one of the cooler ones that I've gotten so far because obviously like I said the my main thing for this is the night haunt and this one comes with all like the cool characters and stuff so that's a quick look through the book before we browse through the sprue there yeah we've got our all our different base sizes for the little slots and stuff and yeah let's see what we get in here so we get the shroud dude on the horse that's one of the best kits in the range that guy's awesome and spooky and then we've got the double chain lock dude so we got we're starting to get some nice heroes now that's quite nice yeah, Knight of Shrouds, that's the one. Yeah, as always, I'm going to blast through this. I'm not going to waste you guys' time. It's just like some interesting lore. You know, if you if you want to get this series, it kind of just slowly teaches you what's going on in the world of Age of Sigma. Of course, it gives you your building guides. And normally it gives you some like your data sheets, how to paint them and all that kind of stuff. Just some general interesting information. Yeah, I'm just really waiting for this like... Warcry style terrain, I believe it is. I'm not 100 percent sure, but yeah, I really, really want that. And yeah, that's that one then. So that's 19 done. Let's have a look at the little sprue. Like I always say, the Death Guard, uh, not Death Guard, sorry, Night Haunt are quite hard to have a look at on the sprue because they're just like wavy cloth most of the time. But yeah, as we can see, little spooky flamey horse guy. I love the swords in the Night Horn. Like I said before, they're like the most realistic swords in all of Age of Sigmar. They actually look like real blades. Really, really nice. Yeah, just more floating curtains with swords. Yeah, chain dude. Dig the, like the helmets and stuff. Yeah, there we go. Couldn't seem to focus in there, but yeah, I really love this. The reason why I'm so pumped about Night Horn is because I think it's going to be a good army for me to practice my airbrushing skills. I want to try and get some nice sweet fades, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, that's number 19. Let's go on to 20. All right, 28 and yeah, sprue. Let's have a look. We've got our little bases. So what we've got, how many models in this one? Two. Yeah. So it seems like this kind of lot is all about the heroes in the army, building up those heroes. Yeah, two really, really cool kits. I, I really like the Sacro Sanct Chamber style. I think that's what they're called. Stormcast Eternals, you know, the ones with the... Oh, bumping my camera all the time. The ones with the robes and all that kind of stuff. They're really, really quite cool. I like them. Just general law again. Building guides. Painting. Some of these painting guides are quite decent. 
give you some good input, uh, good ideas. I think at this point I'm probably building up a pretty decently sized army of both, but I'm not sure I'll ever use the the Stormcast yet. Nothing's inspired me quite we, well yet. And yeah, same old stuff as usual. And let's go on to 21. Now oh, just completely forgot. I didn't even look at the sprue for the 20. So let's have a look at that quickly. Yeah, as usual, just crazy amounts of detail. Really like the base there as well. Yeah, dig the little horsey thing. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I do really like some of the Stormcast models. I just don't know if I can afford to add another project to the table, but... You know, maybe I'll keep them around, maybe I'll do a giveaway, who knows. But yeah, that's the sprue. Really cool stuff there. I mean, the hero's always badass, so what do you expect, really? Nice. All right, now on to 21. And now, to be honest, I'm not going to go through this too much, because these are the Dreadscythe Harridans. I think we got these guys' last issue as well. It's just kind of like a duplicate issue. But I'll just quickly you know, get rid of these bases. Go through the book and see if there's anything different in there. A Band of Brothers. Yeah, some more color schemes there. Hey, that's actually a really nice one. I think I've been trying to figure out a, a color scheme for my new Space Marine chapter. And that's actually pretty nice, not going to lie. Yeah, I might uh, look through these Stormcast ones to steal ideas for Space Marines. Because, you know, they're pretty similar. That's some information on the Chaos Gods. Yeah, what is this? This looks interesting. This is new. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's some sort of fancy letter there. I'm going to read that later. And then we got the bill guides. So yeah, other than that fancy letter thing, it's pretty much the usual stuff. And that shows me what I'm going to get in 23 as well. So we're getting some of the Stormcast from like the original Age of Sigma kit, it seems. I think I've still got like two sets of them lying around somewhere. Maybe just one, but yeah, I need to sell that on. Ah, and there's a little booklet here as well telling you, telling you about the War of Life. This is where, like, the Sylvaneth and Nurgle had their little battle. Some information on that. Yeah, always a fan of Nurgle. I'm actually, I never think if I know, I never know if I like the Death Guard or Age of Sigmar range more than that. I think the demons and stuff like that always fit fantasy a lot more. And lastly, and probably least as well, Issue 22, the mandatory boring issue with just paints in it. One thing I must say is I'm building up a pretty decent paint collection with this thing because I've got like a trillion parts of Rakoth and Mephist and Red at this point. But, well, not only from this, but let's have a look what this one tells us then. Warrior Chambers. Would be quite good to see what the different chambers are because I'm not 100% clued up on that. Some information on the God of Blood. Uh, I wouldn't mind starting a corn army either, to be honest. Uh, oh, I can't be looking at that. More steps for your Sigmar Mausoleum. I'll look at that later. That's quite a cool image, actually. I quite like that one. Into the Dread Forest. All right, so then let's see what we're getting in the next issue. So like I said, 23, we're getting the, the original box kind of dudes. And then we're getting some more heroes and, like, general troopy kind of dudes as well that's actually a really nice set there as well that's going to be fun i kind of annoyed at myself that i never i didn't start mortal realms like getting into for uh age of sigma this is, would be a perfect way to do it but like i said i've got so many projects it's not really even a thing i'm using right now so but if you got and you guys got the opportunity and you want to get into age of sigma this really is one of the best ways to do it uh, and of course i didn't show the little harridan ladies before but like i said we've done a little showcase of these they're just floaty cloths with knife hands so but a really cool kit when they're together Alrighty, guys so that's pretty much it for this delivery so yeah not too much to go on i mean we got some badass heroes but everything else was pretty normal i mean look we got this uh nice folder would it be nice if there's better art on there i mean not better art but newer art got a little paint pot got some palettes and stuff like that if you're a beginner this is absolutely like magnificent amount of things for the money and what you get it's really, really great. So yeah, like I said before, if you're new, you want to start this, definitely try and sign up if you're in, well, a country that does it, I guess. But as always, guys, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Comment below what you think of all of this. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, maybe check it out and give it a go. So yeah, until then, guys, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.